First at five, a drug that's been in the news a lot. It's now part of a new study at UT Health San Antonio, ivermectin. It's sometimes used to treat human infections, but mostly it's a dewormer for livestock. Yeah, the ivermectin used for horses is not meant for humans, but it's been such a big problem. The FDA has put out warnings for humans not to use it. And now ivermectin and two other drugs meant for humans are part of a new national COVID-19 treatment study. Garrett Berger explains how they're ready for their volunteers. Dr. Thomas Patterson and his colleagues at UT Health San Antonio are looking for active COVID-19 patients for the active six study. We don't want you to get COVID, uh, but if you do get COVID, uh, you know, this is an option. The study assigns COVID patients to get one of three drugs or a placebo version of them. And participants can choose which of the drugs they want to be considered for, which are shipped to them in the mail. It's an interesting study because it's going to use drugs that are approved for other indications. The drugs include fluticasone and fluvoxamine, but the most high profile of the three is ivermectin, which has dominated headlines lately. It's used in humans for infections caused by some parasitic worms and head lice and also rosacea. And its role as a dewormer for livestock has been highlighted by the reported rushes on the drug at agriculture stores. Though ivermectin has shown some promise against COVID-19, Patterson says the data isn't strong enough to recommend it yet. I think it's just really important to recognize the, import, the, the utility of a, of a carefully done study to show, is it safe uh, uh, and is it effective? Because that's an important question. So he advises against self-medicating with it. And he says you definitely should not take the veterinary version. Which is really not a, a good idea and not safe. And has been associated with significant toxicity. The drugs in the study could change depending on the results of this or other studies, or if other drug options arise. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Now to participate in the study, you need to be at least 30 with a positive COVID test in the last 10 days. For more criteria or to sign up, you can go to the active dash six website. It's spelled A C T I V dash six or active six study.org. We also have a link in this story on KSAT.com.